Hello everyone, welcome to this video. Thank you very much for clicking on it. I really appreciate it. Today, oh, it's a good day. Purple Kiss are back, baby. They are back. We have a new title track, Sweet Juice, and also a new mini album, Cabin Fever. And I am very, very excited. Very, very, very excited. As I always am for a Purple Kiss comeback. But for, like, I don't know why, but there's just like, there's something about this one that makes me extra excited. Maybe it's because I haven't seen any of the teasers. Like, obviously, I reacted to the concept trailer, but that's one thing. You know, having an idea of a concept going in is one thing. Not seeing MV teasers, not listening to a highlight medley, that's a whole other thing. So I have no idea what I'm getting into, and I think this is the first time I'm going into a Purple Kiss release with zero idea of what the song is going to sound like. I think this is the first time. And that is simultaneously both very exciting and slightly terrifying because they really could give me anything and mm, I'm just very, 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 very excited. Anyway, as always, I will be over on Patreon later listening to the album. So if you're interested in that, feel free to come over. All of my other album listens for them are over there. There's some other content and whatnot. Hopefully there will be more as well in the not too distant future. There are some things that I want to do and to cover. Um, and I'm sure there'll be stuff that happens over the course of this promotional period that I want to cover as well. So yeah, anyway, we're just going to dive in. We're going to see what's happening. So let's do it. Let's go. I am, I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing for this comeback. I really, I don't know what it is. Maybe like, it just feels like it's been a really long time coming and I feel like there was just like a lot of like waiting for this to be announced like we knew it was coming and then just like waiting and waiting and waiting and then finally it's here I don't know there's just something about this comeback that just has got me extra hype I don't know what it is but it's great anyway I'm scared <laughs> I'm scared about what this song is gonna do to me uh like I said haven't seen any of the teasers beyond the concept trailer they look incredible though the pictures on Twitter oh they look stunning yeah and i'm just real intrigued real real intrigued so let's do it purple kiss sweet juice three two one go hey you look great oh What? Why is Chain upside down? Sing to me, does she? Oh my god, there's so much doshi. There are so many doshi lines.
Mm. Oh my god. Do you want some sweet juice? Yes. Oh. Grand sweet oh. Wow. 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 I am genuinely gobsmacked. Like, I... <laughs> that... I don't care where your personal, you know, music taste lies, like, you know, we all obviously have different favorites, right? If anyone even tries to tell me that this isn't their best release so far, I respectfully, no. <laughs> this, on so many levels, is their best title track thus far. The song itself is phenomenal. We're gonna go through it again, cause dear sweet Jesus, I need to, I need to, I need to. There is so much in that that I love. But then you add on top of that, probably some of their best choreo, and I have obviously not even seen the full thing, but just the little bits that they're, sh that they're showing us in this MV, some of their best choreo, for sure. The line distribution? I don't think we've ever had that much Doshi, Ire, Yuki in a song ever. Like, here's the thing. I, I, I go into Purple Kiss songs kind of expecting that, you know, the line distribution is going to be skewed in favor of the main vocalist because they have three of them like when a group has three main vocalists they're gonna get the majority of the lines that's just how it be it doesn't matter that my personal favorite vocal in the group is here like it doesn't matter like i go in and i expect to hear the majority be sung by swan gone and chain like that's just my expectation but this we got so much Ire and Doshi, especially especially Doshi. I don't think Doshi has ever had this many lines in a song. <laughs> and I'm like, thank you, because their voices are so beautiful and I'm so glad we got to hear more of them. And their Yuki, like that verse that she came in with was stunning. And then we got two little extra bits from her as well throughout the rest of the song. Like, oh, amazing. I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I even slightly know what happened in that music video aside from the little bits of choreo where i was like oh my god this is beautiful choreo um aside from that like i i was just too lost in the source of the song to for my eyes to be functioning <laughs> i was just like you guys look great that's a like this is surface level thoughts just like you guys look great this is also but the song i'm honestly like I'm kind of, I, I'm trial running something at the moment, which is like reacting to less teasers uh, for some groups. There will obviously probably be exceptions. I think uh, Fromis and the Seraphim are probably like the two big exceptions. Like I'm going to want to check out teasers for them because of course. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of, I'm kind of trialing, like checking out less teasers for, for the majority of groups. And this I think is an excellent, example of going in blind to a song 
and it being the best thing ever because oh <laughs> my god <laughs> i haven't been that clothes lined by a song in a hot minute wow i am flabbergasted i am overwhelmed and i am utterly in love see i knew i had a feeling I couldn't put my finger on what it was, but I just had this feeling that there was something about this comeback that was special. I didn't know what it was. I had absolutely no clue, but there was just this gut feeling, this gut feeling just right in here, you know? And I was just like, I'm just extra excited for this one. And I thought, oh, maybe it's down to the fact that like, you know, I'm not experiencing burnout anymore. I'm feeling pretty good, blah, 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 blah. But no, it's just because subconsciously I knew they were about to drop the best fucking shit I've heard this year. I don't care that we're only a month and a half in. I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said. Oh, I'm so overwhelmed. That, oh, that was so good. Okay, all right, let's go through it again. Lord knows how long this second watch is going to take me. Let's go. I make no promises that I'll be able to infer anything extra on a second watch of the MV, but the song itself is what I mainly want to talk about. Like, I think I saw the lady with the hat a few times, or at least little glimpses. That's, that's about all I got. I... We started off with these strings. And I was like, excuse me? But I, I, I wasn't expecting it to stick around. I was expecting like, oh, okay, so maybe this is like a little intro into the song. It's just like a little bit of flavor to like bring us into the main song. No, 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 no. We get strings throughout the song at various parts. I wasn't ready for it. And then the piano as well. And this opening position, like, Tin is just... <laughs> She's just, mm. <laughs> I, I think I said this when I checked out the intro performance video. I know there were some people that were worried because obviously this is our first comeback uh, as six members. Um, and I, I talked a little bit th about that in the last video, so I won't, I won't linger on it here, but this is obviously the first came comeback with six members uh, since Dion left. Hope she's doing well. Um, and I know that there were some people that were worried like, you know, Six member choreos can often be eh. <laughs> like just because sometimes, you know, it means you have to like hide one member behind or like I feel like choreographers sometimes struggle with six member groups uh, or just even number groups in general. But especially for some reason, six member, <laughs> six member and four member groups can sometimes be a little bit interesting in their choreo. But one group you should never doubt, one group you should never doubt on two things, vocals and choreography. Purple kiss. Never doubt them. Because this choreo, the images they create, the shit that they're doing with their bodies, like, nah. Nah. <laughs> you don't doubt them. You don't doubt them when it comes to that, because they are always going to bring it. Just from this opening pose alone, I'm like, okay, we're about to fuck it up. Let's go! Okay. Who produced this? Who produced this? I need the, I need the track list up. I was, I wasn't gonna do this until the album listen, but I'm bringing it up now because I, I need to know who produced this because I just, I just need to give them their flowers for a sec. Cabin fever track list. Okay, so yeah, Yuki's on the lyrics. Gorn's on the lyrics as well. Doctor, Doctor Joe, Doctor Joe, Jumbas. Okay, so Jim, Jumbas. Okay, 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 okay. Just applause, just applause. Like that hit to break up the strings and come into that first verse, paired with the choreo as well, like incredible. And then go on with these super light. Well, light is the wrong word. Light is the wrong word. It's not light, but these kind of intimate vocals. That's, that's probably the best word I can use to describe it. Like, it's kind of like, you know, you feel like she's like right up against the mic, like she is singing it directly into your ear. Ooh, gives me chills. But the percussion with it as well. Oh, bah. Bah, 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 bah. 
Is that like guitar with like an effect on it? Mm. What is this choreo? What's her teen? Why are you so stunning? <laughs> Why are you so stunning? What the fuck? I love that sound. Yeah. You see what I mean with the strings and the keys? That is so addictive. That is so addictive. When I saw the title, like Sweet Juice, I was like, what's this song gonna be like? What's it gonna be like? Like I couldn't picture it. You Do you ever like see a title of a song and you just, like you just cannot for the life of you figure out how that song is gonna sound? That's how I felt looking at the title of this song. And I guess there was like a little part of me that was like, how are they gonna have a song called Sweet Juice and not have it sound like a little bit weird to my ear? Cause like, the, I don't know, I, I can't really explain it. It's It's just a feeling, it's just a vibe. But I can safely say, it fucking bangs, it hits, it's so addictive. And dare I say, it's sexy. <laughs> a little bit sensual, if you will. Mm. This chorus is so good. Oh! La. Oh, nah, the 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 rising melody and then coming back down from Swan Ped with this piano in the background. I am obsessed with this song. <laughs> Oh, I love that verse from Yuki. That's probably one of my favorite verses that she has done in a minute. There's just something about her delivery on it, the rhythm of it, paired with that percussion, that beat. Yeah. Oh, that piano is everything. Mm. And then coming back into Swan again with that intimacy. What is this choreo? I swear, with every choreo, Goen looks more and more like Taeon, and it weirds me out. Like, in the best way. It's just like, how? <laughs> how? How? I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. I really... But yeah, this is my song to beat so far for this year. I really thought, in terms of title tracks, I really thought it was going to take longer for something to topple XG Shooting Star, but like, nah, this... <laughs> this, this... This is the song to beat so far for this year. I don't know how long it'll stand because Lord knows we have some comebacks coming in the next like month or so. But mm, but for now at least, this is this is the one to beat. Fuck, this is so good. Oh my god, I am just so overwhelmed. I'm so overwhelmed, but it's so good. And I'm utterly obsessed 
with how much ire and dosu we have in the song. Just with the strings. Oh, Kiki. I love your voice so much. Oh, oh, that's a gorgeous moment. Pairing the piano with like that panning shot and the choreo. Mmm, mm, that was pretty. It's just so epic feeling. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did, did the spoon spell something? Oh yeah, it's the same thing that's on the door. Rylas? 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 I don't know what it means. I don't know what it means. My brain, we're not connected in that kind of way right now. No, we're, we're too overwhelmed by the song. Yes. I know the stages are gonna slap for this. What an ending pose as well. Wow. I am just so... Wow. <laughs> I really don't think I have ever loved a Purple Kiss title track as much as I love this one. And I've only listened to it twice. And to be fair, that's saying something. Because I remember when I reacted to Zombie and I was like, oh, this is going to be in my top 10 of the year. And it was. Um, like, I loved Zombie to death. But this, it, how I feel right now, eclipses that so hard. <laughs> this. Wow. 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 Yeah, I don't have closing thoughts on that. Except for one. I have one thing. I don't know if it'll happen. I don't know what their chances are like. But this... This is probably the first time where I felt like, oh, they could legitimately get their first win with this song. You know what I mean? Like, you ever just, like, you have a comeback from a group and you're like, oh, this, this could be the one. Like I said, I don't know if it'll happen. We'll see. But there is something about this song. There is something about it that just makes me feel that way, you know? Damn. I'm so proud of them. I'm so proud of them. I'm so happy for them. This is insanely good. Insanely good. I cannot wait to listen to the rest of the album. Like I said in the beginning, that'll be over on Patreon later today. But rest assured, this song, this song just on its own, I am going to be listening to an ungodly amount. God damn. Okay, I'm going to end this one here. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.